All right, uh, we have a, a 2007 Honda Civic here. Um, I just bought the car, and I bought it cheap. It's got 213,000 miles on it. And the first thing that you notice is that the radio comes on, but you're not hearing any music out the speakers. Sorry about that. The only speakers that are working are just these two little tweeters, which... That's all the way turned up. But anyways, neither of the two door speakers or the two rear speakers in the rear deck are working. Um, so I've kind of looked around and on the 06 through 11 Honda Civic, it looks to be fairly common that the speakers actually blow. So I've looked online about buying replacement speakers from Honda um, because you can buy aftermarket speakers, but aftermarket speakers, when you hook them up to a regular Honda radio, don't sound that great. You kind of have to buy an aftermarket radio as well. And since I bought this car cheap, I'm not looking to spend a whole lot of money. So I really don't want to spend like a hundred bucks on speakers and then spend like another 200 or 250 bucks on a nice radio. So I'd like to just use the original radio because it appears to work. You can hit different stations and it goes through the stations. The display is kind of hard to read here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it does come on. It does work. So I'm hoping it's just going to be the speakers. Um, I think they sell the speakers for like 40, I don't know, 40 bucks a piece or something, 45, 49 bucks a piece or something like that on Amazon. Um, so before I make the investment of buying the speakers, I'm going to pull them out and test them. And we'll start by doing the uh, the rear speakers look the easiest. Um, the two front speakers are easy as well. It looks like you just take the door panel halfway off and just kind of pull the bottom of the door panel out. Just So these speakers are pretty cool looking set up. It's just a plastic ring around the speaker with two hooks that kind of hook in and just a single bolt that holds it in. Um, so you're not going to have like four or five bolts holding the speakers in. So give me just a second here and we will uh, remove one of the rear speakers and we'll test it and I'll show you how to test it with a uh, voltmeter. All right, uh, here we are in the back seat now. What I did was I folded down the back seat just to give easier visibility so you don't see the headrest. Um, so like I said, this is an 07 four-door Civic uh, EX. And here's the rear speakers. They're going to be underneath this cover here. Um, it looks like there's a tab holding the speaker grill this way and a tab holding it this way. So you're going to want to pry on the front here or this side over here. Um, I got this little plastic pry tool. You can find these like at the dollar store or any like auto zone or a, uh, you know, like a automotive parts store. Um, you just want to get started just a little bit kind of just work your way around here we go and see how I'm pulling it up like this see how there's like this little tab tab so when it goes back together you can put it in there first put it down like that all right and hopefully you guys can see this but here's the speaker itself um, and here is the one bolt that's going to hold it in let's see is that a eight millimeter all right just need a little ratchet this is a quarter inch drive ratchet with an eight millimeter get that started got the rest of my hand and now you want to grab where that's at and there is a little foam gasket that's probably going to be stuck when you pull this up. But as you pull this up, it just hooks. There is a, uh, a connection of a plug here on the back. You're going to squeeze the two outer tabs off you can see that. And there you go. There's the speaker. It's that easy. Um, here's that little rubber gasket. It's just because the age of the gasket was sticking to the car itself. I might just put like a little dab of glue just to hold the gasket back on there a little bit better. But now we'll go to the workbench and I'll show you how to test this speaker and see if it's good or not. Alright, 
well, not the workbench, but we are here on the uh, kitchen table. Um, there's better lighting and it's easier for me to show you guys this. So I went ahead and pulled both the rear speakers out of the vehicle um, just because I have a good feeling they're going to be blown. Um, and I do have a set of uh, six by nine speakers and boxes here that I know that are good speakers so that way I can show you what a good speaker is supposed to register as. Um, looking online, these speakers are a four ohm speaker. Um, so they should come back at four ohms. If it's anything other than four ohms, that's how you know that they're blown. I mean, it could be off just a hair. It could be like 4.1, 4 4.2, or 3.8, or 3.9, but you need it to be at four ohms. Um, same thing, the six by nine speakers are four ohm speakers as well. And here we just have a regular old voltmeter. First, uh, you wanna turn your voltmeter to the, hopefully you guys can see this, to ohms. Now that it's on ohms, it is set at a millionth of an ohm, not actual ohms. I mean, it's because it's at zero more or less. We're just going to touch the positive and negative to the back of the speaker here. And it's coming in at 6 .8, 7.1, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6 millionth of an ohm. So it's time to come back at an ohm. And the other speaker, same thing, three, 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 four. And if you look, it's still on M, a millionth of an ohm. If you look, it's hard to show you guys. But next to the ohm symbol, as an M for million. Now on a good speaker, the M disappears and it's right at 4.0, 4 4.1, 3.9, 39. It's a four ohm speaker, so it's right at four ohms like it's supposed to be. And if you can see, the M goes away if I disconnect it, the little M comes back looking for millionths. When I go back to this speaker, the M is still there, like I said, seven millionths of an ohm. And it's fluctuating all over the place. It's not giving a good solid reading by any means. So the good news is for me, it appears all my interior speakers are blown. Um, these are just factory cheap speakers from Honda. Um, like I said, the car is an 07. <laughs> so these are quite old. And I guess the question is, I guess I just buy four new replacement speakers online. All right, so um, I purchased speakers for the Civic and I changed my mind. I was gonna go with the original Honda speakers. Um, this is, I know they sound good. But once I saw the price of them, and obviously they're some cheap Chinese-made speakers, um, I went with the route of buying these Kenwood speakers. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, but they weren't expensive. I think they were like $40 a set, so like 80 bucks, I believe. Um, but then to make the installation easier, I went ahead and purchased These two wiring harness, well, actually there's four of them. Um, there's two in a package. Um, this way they plug directly into the car's wiring harness so no wires are cut or anything like that. So I got two of those. And if you need to know, the part number is Metro 72-7800. And then I also bought these speaker adapters. Um, so you bolt the speakers to these like rings and then this ring bolts right back into the car the way it's supposed to factory. Same thing, this is made by PAC, and the part number is HSB524. So, then we'll just do the install of the speakers into here, and then we'll attach the wires to it, 
and then put them in the car and it should be that easy. All right, got all four speakers, wiring harnesses attached. Time to go back outside to the car and install them. All right, now to install the speakers, take your old plastic pry tool, start from the outside, pop this corner up, it hinges that way, because there's two little tabs on the inside. Take the cover back off, take our speaker, there's two tabs here. You'll see there's two slots in the rear deck. Put those tabs in the slot. Drop the speaker down. Take the original bolt. The same eight millimeter that we had the first time. Right now we're bolted all the way down. Um, probably can't see this under here, but I'm just gonna take the plug and uh, just plug it in. Two Yankees and a Tiger. Simple as that. Now we have sound. So I don't have it on the radio just because I don't want uh, YouTube to kick it off due to copyright. Speaker grill. Two tabs. One thousand five hundred and seventy-four games. The two one pitch to Goldschmidt. Swing and a miss. And there's one in the rear. We'll do the same exact thing on the other side. It just goes back to the 40. All right, now we're going to try to do a front door speaker without removing the entire door. Same thing, plastic uh, tool. just need to get it loose enough so the panel is loose. I don't want to do the long route of taking the entire door panel off. Same thing, there's a single 8 millimeter. Bring the camera in. So from here, we're just going to pull the panel out. Here's the speaker. There's that 8 millimeter bolt that I'm just loosening. There's two little tabs in the bottom of the speaker held in. I'm going to continue to take out this 8 millimeter. I'm trying to do this one handed here. 
Not having a whole lot of luck. There we go. There we go. So you can see that there's a little square there, a little square there. The tab on each side here. It just holds it in. Give me just a second here. There we go. I just had to get the uh, plug unplugged there. Here's the wiring harness. And here's the wiring harness. And now to install the new speaker. Give me just a second. Here's a minute later. Both the tabs went in the slot. But, uh, it's over. Up your bolts over there. Plugged in the harness. We got sound. And now you can see we're just gonna. If you can tell these little. I don't know if you can see this or not. These little white tabs. They just push into these black grommets. So we'll go around the entire door and then just pop these. Kind of like so. Just kind of pop them with our hand back shut. All right. Door panel's back on. All it is, I just went around the edges here. It's that simple, guys. So, hopefully, you uh, learned something from this video. It's very common. Uh, for the 06 through 11 Honda Civics need the speakers replaced um, It's a pretty simple job didn't take me much time at all to do um, If you want to order the Honda speakers, I'll put a link to those they were just a little more expensive uh, Like I said, I think these Kenwood speakers were 40 bucks a pair So I think I paid 80 bucks for these speakers plus the uh, adapter plates and wiring harnesses so All right guys, thanks for watching Hey guys, if you like my video, you can check out other videos right here, just like it. Please hit my subscribe button, and thanks for watching.